Hi guys, uh, 965 here again with another video. Uh, we're indoors today because I'm doing a response um, to a load of questions I've had um, through YouTube. Um, a couple of weeks ago, you might remember I did a video on how to put up um, a CB antenna on a 20 foot mast in the field. Uh, and the commonly asked question I keep getting is, I've had about, I think about nine or 10 people ask me the same thing. How do you work out the length of the guy wires before you get outdoors? Um, it's quite simple, it's quite easy, but I thought the easiest way to deal with this was by doing a video because to try and explain it, it's a little bit a little bit of a pain in the backside really. Um, it's much easier if you can see it. Um, so what I've done is I've done a diagram, very simple, very basic, but it will give you the information you need to be able to work it out before you get outside. So uh, we'll, um, we'll just spin the camera around and I'll pull up my, uh, my diagram. Look at that, very professional. Okay, so that gives you the gist of what you want to know, basically. Um, and I'm going to use the um, I'm going to use the figures that I used for the video where I put the antenna up, so it keeps it all nice and simple. And you can relate back to that video as well if you want to. So two things you need to know is you need to know the height of your mast which is this line here um, and in my case it's 20 foot and I also put the guy, I attach the guy wire right at the very top I always do that and I'll explain why later um, so that measurement there is 20 foot from the base to the top of the mast and then this figure here is the distance from the base of the uh, mast to where the pegs go for the guy wire attaching so that distance there is 15 foot to say these are the exact figures that I used in that video for putting the mast up so uh, works for me and that's what I'm going to go with so once you know the distance from the base of the mast to your peg in this case I say it's 15 foot and the mast height is 20 foot you can do a little bit of maths um, you probably remember this from school um, or you've probably heard it it's called Pythagoras theory Sounds complicated, but really it's not. It's not at all. So what you want to do, probably best if you get yourself a calculator if you're not uh, very good at mental arithmetic, like I'm not. Um, take this figure here, which as I say is 15 foot, and times it by itself, which gives you 225 feet. Same on this side, 20 foot times itself, so 20 by 20, gives you 400 feet. Next thing you want to do is take the two answers, 400 foot and 225 foot, and add them together, and that will give you 625 feet. Now don't rush out and buy 1800 foot of rope, because that's not the length of the guy wire. What you want to do, get yourself a calculator, and find that button on the calculator, the one that looks like a tick with a line off the top. That's the square root button, and I'm sure many of you will be well aware of that, some of you won't there we go it's called the square root button and what you want to do is type in 625 which is the answer which is these two here added together 625 press the square root button and that will give you the square root which in this case is 25 foot and 25 foot is the length from the top of there to the peg of 25 feet and that's all you need to do that's it that's how you work it out. So you can change it to, to, to uh, whatever dimensions you've got, whatever dimensions you want to use. So if you've only got a 15 foot mast, yeah, change that to 15 foot and then adjust the distance out for the peg. Now I usually go on the basis of this measurement here is five foot less than this measurement here. So if you've got a, if you've got a 15 foot mast, make that distance 10 foot and it should be plenty um, plenty good enough uh, to, to keep it up depending on what you put on the top of it really um, but 20 foot mast and 15 foot spacing is more than adequate for um, any of your half wave home base antennas so your silver rods thunder pole fives antron 99s etc you could probably get away with a 5 8 wave silver rod on the top of there which instead of being 18 foot long is I think about 24 foot um, and that's it basically that's all you need to do 
as I say, this works for me. This is the, the measurements I use. Um, obviously, if you do use a shorter mast, say say 15 foot, you could still use your 25 foot guy and just pull it out further to say here. But that's all you need to do, chaps, chapesses. That's 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 how you do it. Um, so yeah, quick recap. Times that by itself to get your answer. Times that figure there by itself to get the answer. Add the two answers together. Find the square root of the answer and that gives you the length of the guy wire. Now this will work for any right angled triangle where the mast is higher than the distance from the base to the peg. If you make those two figures the same, so if it's 20 foot high and 20 foot distance, this won't work. This won't work for you. It's only designed for right angle triangles. Um, now going back to what I said earlier, the reason I put the guy wire at the very top of the uh, very top of the mast is it then means that all of the mast, all 20 foot, is secure. It's secured by the guy wires. Anything above, anything above where you secure the guy wires will be flexible and will be affected by the wind. So if you were to bring the guy wire attachment down to here, to 10 foot, you'd then not only have the 18 foot of the antenna flexing, you'd also have 10 foot of the, of the mast which can flex. So I always put mine right at the top and gives it maximum stability. But there we go, that's it. Hope that answers, uh, answers your question on how to work out the length of your guy wire. As I say, you can, whoop, as I say, you can use any, um, sorry about that, I dropped my pointer, or in this case, my uh, 446 antenna. Um, you can use any dimensions you want. You could make that, you know, you could make that 36 feet, and then you could make that 31 foot. Um, you can have a play around uh, and use what works, uh, works best for you, really. But that's how I do it, and it works right every time. And uh, yeah, so for a 20 foot mast, you need 75 foot of rope cut into three equal sections, which gives you 25 foot, the jobs are good. So uh, yeah, as always, if you've got any questions, if you want to know anything, you're not sure, drop me a message. And uh, don't worry if you think it's a daft question, ask it anyway. And um, we'll see if we can get you an answer. So uh, yeah, we'll catch you, uh, catch you on the next one. It's um, a bit windy this weekend. It's uh, the 20, uh, I think it's the 25th today. That uh, note's the 26th, so it's the 26th of October. Uh, tomorrow is the Sunday DX, uh, if any of you want to join us. And um, yeah, it should be a bit of a, a test for the 10 metre pole in the wind, but I'm sure it can take it. So catch you next time, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I say, hope that answers the question.